Hey. Hey, Django. I'm obsessed with you. Hi, kitty. Also, guys, I'm just leaving for the gym right now, and I never showed you my cute little pumpkins that I got from Nature's Bounty. I just put it on the front porch, and it looks so cute. So I just went into shoppers really quickly because I have a few things I wanted to get. So firstly, I just got one of these little jade face rollers. I have a face roller, but it isn't the jade one and you stick it in the freezer and I don't know, I just don't really like it. It makes a really annoying squeaky noise when I try to rub it on my face. So I just picked up this like cute little pink one. I was going to get a green one that was cheaper, but... It was only like a $6 difference, so I just got this one, and I'm assuming it's better anyways. And then next, I just got a pack of like two parting brushes. My middle part hair game is so off. I need to get better at doing it, but I don't have like the pick to part your hair properly, so I just grabbed these. Um, They didn't have single ones, so I just had to get the pack of two. And then I just grabbed two things from NYX. I just grabbed a new lip liner. This one is in the shade sandstorm it's like a really nice brownie neutral color and then i just got a nyx lip gloss i feel like these are gonna look really cute together okay i just got back from the gym and i made a smoothie but i just put frozen bananas and strawberries greek yogurt almond milk and vanilla protein powder and it's really good package just arrived and i'm pretty sure it's my clothing rack if you guys watch my weekly vlog i think from two weeks ago i mentioned that i ordered a clothing rack because mine is slowly breaking because i got it at walmart and it was like 12 dollars okay cool there's like a bunch of little pieces and instructions so i'm actually gonna do that when i get back i'm just about to run to the mall quickly just to look at new planners because the one i have right now just honestly isn't working for me it was nice for school to write down like all my assignment due dates and stuff like that i'll show you the weekly spread way too small i'm actually like running out of space on my to-do list you can see like they're just very cluttered so i want to get one that has more space i might even just get a normal notebook and then just write the date on it every single day i'm not too sure I'm not going in looking for anything specific with any expectation just gonna kind of look around and see what the options are but i'm parking in front of indigo because that's where i'm going and i'm not going to go in anywhere else because i really don't need to go to the mall and i don't need to spend more money I just threw on a really comfy matching sweat set this is from sorella collaboration with meeks gang it's super cute it's kind of just like a knockoff of the astro world sweatpants just showered my hair in a clip just while it dries So I ended up getting two different ones. I fell in love with one of them, but it was a 2021 calendar. So I was like, you know what? I will just get it because I couldn't find one that had 2020 and 21 in it. So I'll just use the other one that I got until it's 2021, but I'm obsessed with the layout of it. It was literally everything I wanted. So I had to get it. So it has a bunch of important dates and holidays. Then it goes into the monthly spread. So that's January. And then for each month, it has this little tracker box here that has your goals for the months, how many times you exercise, which I'm going to definitely utilize that. House cleaning that you need to do for the month, appointments, bills, reminders not to forget, expenses of the month, ideas, and people to call. So I love that and I'm definitely really excited to get to use that. And then it goes into your daily spread so i really really like how each day has a whole page to itself so i'm not going to be limited on the amount of stuff and details i can include in everything and it also has a cute little like weather outline that you can circle whatever the weather is going to be for the day and yeah just very simple but practical and it's in this like really soft black cushiony material and then the other one i got let me just open it stuff's face with trail mix 
So the next one is just black as well, but this one is a 2020 to 2021 daily journal, one day per page and it's ruled. So I got this one to just use until, until I can use the other one. But even carrying on into 2021, I can still use this. The monthly layout of 2020. And then it goes into the remaining months of 2020 for this journal. So then it goes into 2021. And then it has the global holidays, measurements and conversions. Actually, that's really helpful. Wow. Okay. Just a bunch of like other planning and fun pages. And then we get into the daily spread. So this one also is a full page for each day, which I really like. So let's find where we are. October... Okay, now it's time to tackle this. I need to get this out of the way. Actually, now I went to the mall. I decided to go inside. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I want a specific lip lick butter from NYX, but I went and the store's closed for today. It's just really random. But let's build this baby. go really easy to set up but it actually came with an extra bolt and little screw thing so i don't think i missed anything because i don't know where it goes but i'm just gonna swap everything out now so i line them up side by side to show you guys the difference in height this one my old one is way taller and it was just super annoying so I'm definitely really thankful that this one's a lot shorter and then it's also a little bit longer so I have more room for clothes but this one just already looks a lot nicer it's like metal it has the two stoppers on the top so that the hangers don't fall off it has the two poles going across the bottom same like this one but these ones are a lot closer so I can put my shoes on them again and they'll fit perfectly all right so here it is all set up i think it looks way better and i'm just really happy that there's more space on the bottom so i can fit all my shoes it just looks so much better just more aesthetic <laughs> i'll have it linked down below watering day they're all due for a drink pretty moist and this guy's probably due for watering at Tim's where else would we be Joe's house or Joe's the mall <laughs> the mall my house. Right, your are on the way. Thank you. I'm so tired. All the time. This is my job as the passenger. Log? No, to do the straws. And stir them because there's a shot of espresso, so we need to make sure that the coffee doesn't melt. We came to Chuck's. I feel like we're always getting late night snacks. <laughs> Bubble tea, now Chuck's. Yeah, it's because we're fat as and hungry all the time, so we're gonna get some nice nachos. We also got the Caesar. Cheers. Camera eats first. I just got back from a yoga class, which was really fun. I was just feeling pretty sore from all my workouts, and I just kind of wanted a body reset. It's really good for your mental and physical health, so I want to start doing it a few times a month or something, but I'm just about to make some avocado toast something different that i haven't really included in one of my vlogs and i've been waiting for the avocados to get ripe so i'm super excited but i'm just throwing this mask out when you're throwing out your disposable masks make sure to cut the two sides because i've seen so many pictures on like twitter of them getting stuck on animals and stuff so cut them before you throw them out after the gym i actually went to the little organic kitchen and i picked up a little immunity shot that has cayenne lemon ginger all that nasty stuff that's really good for you and i was gonna take it as soon as i got in the car but they said don't take it on an empty stomach because i might throw up 
and I'm pretty hungry. So I'm gonna eat first and then do this. I've actually had this exact one a few years ago and I remember it being absolutely disgusting. I just feel like I don't remember how bad it actually is. So I'm probably gonna be vomiting, but it's really good for you. She's ooh, literally perfect. That's how you know, if the pit falls out unannounced, it's ripe. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice is the secret to it tasting so good. Do a little bit of salt and some pepper. Okay, I like my eggs sunny side up, so I put a little bit of pepper. I put you onto that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Kale got me obsessed with the ground cayenne. A little bit of that. A little bit of garlic powder. So while the eggs are cooking, I'm going to put the avocado on the toast. Chili flakes. I like my stuff spicy. I don't know why I said sunny side up because I like mine over easy. Maybe add a little bit more pepper. Final product. So delicious and easy and fast. No time for the shot. It's not that bad. All right, took it like a pro. Okay, hi guys. I just did my makeup. I was gonna do a full on get ready with me, but I just uploaded my everyday makeup routine like last week. So I'll have that in the card up here. So if you guys want to see how I did my makeup, you can just watch that video. The only thing that I did different was my lips. So I just used the NYX lip liner in Sandstorm. This is the one that I picked up yesterday. So I lined my lips with that and then I put on Too Faced lip injection and then I put on this NYX filler in stick little chapstick in the color Beach Casual. And then I put this NYX shimmer gloss over top of it that's that one i also got yesterday but i'm just about to put some hair extensions in so this is not sponsored by irresistible me but they were kind enough to send me some of their hair extensions to try out so i will have those linked down below if you guys are interested but this is the box that it came in super cute it comes with extra clips to just in case bag that it comes in so there is like a little tiny tester on this side to make sure that it matches your hair and if it doesn't then just send the whole thing back i just love like the cute little hearts all over it it's so adorable classic white blonde i believe it's shade 20 i'll have all the details in the description box though um, and I went for the 24 inch because I'm extra. And this is 100% real human Remy hair. So since it is real hair, you can color the hair. You can wash it as well as with purple shampoo. So you get the perfect shade to match your hair. So this is their four clip weft that everybody loves. They actually launched an option to buy this piece separately. It's not enough to get a full head of hair, but you can definitely give yourself a little bit of a volume boost. So this is an eight piece set. It comes with one four clip weft, two three clip clips and then four two clips and two single clips. I'm gonna start with the three clip wef. So I'm just gonna divide the majority of my hair and clip the rest up. And now I'm gonna go in with the four clip one. The three clip one again. Okay, now I'm just going to pull everything forward. So now I'm going to go in with the two clip weft. Kind of divide it right there. Okay, so like that. So I took another little section above and I'm going to clip the other two clip weft in i'm so sorry guys it's like so hard to show you what i'm doing i'm gonna turn it my finger and then i'm gonna go in with the little tiny one clip weft and i'm gonna do it above my ear so like in this area right there and there you go so i didn't straighten my hair um but if you did it would obviously look a lot better but i'm just gonna braid it right now for a video because i feel like it would be super cute okay i'm gonna go film a video now thank you so much irresistible me and it will be linked down below
Ah, <sighs> okay, hi. I'm literally exhausted. It's a few hours later. I just finished filming how I edit my Instagram photos, so that will definitely be up before you guys see this video. It'll be right here and you can watch it. But I just finished taking Instagram photos as well. Um, I really like the way that they turned out with my little braids. So I just did like a sliding one. So there's the first one. Oh, this is backwards. <laughs> first one, second one, third one. Super cute. Okay, so this is what it looks like when they're not in braids. Again, it would look a lot better if my hair was straight. I'm just going to take all of these extensions out. It does not take long. Just like putting them in doesn't take long. It actually matches my hair pretty perfectly. But guys, let me just chat you up while I'm doing this. I'm really thinking of dyeing my hair. It's gonna sound so stupid coming out of my mouth. <laughs> dyeing my hair darker not like as dark as i was i really want to go to like a lighter blonde like a dirty blonde color let me pull up a photo and show you guys i'm obsessed and i've been thinking about it for a really long time like i already went a little bit darker at my most recent hair appointment but now i'm thinking like i kind of want to go to like you guys know who matilda is you already know her hair is beautiful but like, what if I went like a nice dirty blonde like that? I don't know. It's kind of like a caramelly, golden, dirty blonde. Like, I really want to do that. And that's already pretty much my natural hair color. It looks a lot darker right now because my hair is super blonde. And also, she does add a darker color onto my root. But my natural hair color like is a dirty blonde like this. So I kind of want to do it. Let me know, guys. Like, it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna do it, but let me know your guys' thoughts. And I'm also gonna do a poll on my Instagram. I love blonde hair, but I'm just so bored of my hair. And I'm kind of like really loving the cut of her hair too. Like what if I got those really short curtain bangs? Like mine are pretty long here, but if I got them, I don't know. I'll have to talk about it with my hairdresser, but look how cute that is when it's styled. Like what? Overall, let me know your thoughts because tell me if you think it's a bad idea. Us girls and dyeing our hair different colors every season. <laughs> my hair is pretty short. I'm thinking of cutting it a little bit shorter too. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Lighting my leaves candle. This is probably one of my favorite Bath and Body Works scents. I'm going to sit and edit at my desk, watch YouTube videos, whatever I'm feeling until dinner's ready. I'm picking up. <laughs> hey. I have to show you something really cute. I was just about to tell the vlog. You guys made a fan page for me. I know, I already saw it. It's so cute. This one, so cute. And then where's the other one? This one too. Where'd it go? Like what? Hey. <laughs> It is literally like five o'clock. I have not been vlogging at all. First of all, look at how I look. You can just tell I haven't done anything all day. Well, I have, but not anything where I have time to vlog. I've literally just been on my computer all freaking day. I haven't even edited. That's the crazy part. I've just been like planning videos very intensely because I have some sponsored videos. I need, whoa, sponsored video that I have to film tomorrow. So I probably won't be vlogging too much tomorrow either. So I'm gonna have a crazy day for the next few days but as i was saying earlier in the car guys i look okay i'm like really sorry for how i look right now i'm like scaring myself but you guys keep making edits of me and it's so cute like let me just show you guys them like i'm literally crying this girl made a page for me there's two pages for me i just love it so here's the first one it's of my instagram photos with my end screen on youtube in the background um and there's also this one too i think this one's my favorite i love it i'm obsessed and it's like a pink cotton candy sky in the background i would literally make this my profile photo on instagram but my instagram for the past month has not been letting me edit my profile i posted that on my story and i did a poll if this is happening to other people and some people said yes but i don't think they understand what my instagram is doing and i don't know why i've tried everything the crazy part is i have two other accounts on my instagram app one is like my private account and my other one is like a random account for me and my friend and i can edit those profiles perfectly fine but it won't let me edit my main account i want to change my profile photo but i'm not able to do it but look i hit edit profile oh <gasps> shut the f 
fuck up. It's working now. Guys, I look literally crazy. This is what was coming. I literally screenshotted it because this is what was happening before. It would load and then it would say, we're so sorry, something went wrong. Please try again. And that's been happening for the past month. Guys, <gasps> I'm so happy right now. I think you guys just gave me good luck and that's why it worked. I don't know where I'm going this clip. I've been very manic today. Like literally asking my boyfriend, I was like crying for no reason earlier in the day and like freaking out. So I'm off a rocker today. But basically I just want to pop in for the vlog today and kind of update you guys with what I've been doing. I've literally been like typing out a script of everything I need to say for a sponsored video. Like I said that I have to film tomorrow. Sending love. I'm just here in my matching sweat set, as always. Stir, stir, stir. Daily coffee run. Hello, guys. It is Thursday. First time I'm talking to you today. It's quite late in the day. It's probably like, I don't even know, 3, 4, 4, 12. And I'm just about to go to Plato's Closet. It's basically just a consignment shop around where I live that buy clothes off of you because, guys, I literally, like, have no room in my closet again. I just took a bunch of stuff out. So now I have like some space, but I have three bags to drop off with a bunch of clothes and I'm hoping that they take a lot of them because I have literally no room in my closet and a lot of the stuff I've had on my Depop for a while, but just no one has bought. So I might as well just try to see if this place will buy it. But I thought I'd show you guys my little outfit of the day because I think it's really cute. So I'm just wearing this chocolate brown Gildan crew neck. This was literally $12. I featured it in one of my previous styling videos. You guys need to go get this sweater. Thank me later. There's like so many different colors, but I just love the chocolate brown for fall. And then I'm wearing it with this black pleated tennis skirt from Brandy Melville. And then I just tucked the crew neck in it so it's more fitted and it's not like flying all over the place. And then I have my mid Nikes on and obviously my everyday black bag right there. Let's go drop the clothes off. Okay, so I just got out of Play-Dohs. It took a really long time. Even though I was next, it still took like over an hour. But they took 21 items for $67. It's kind of a ripoff if you really think about it. 21 items for $67. But that stuff was just going to sit in my closet anyways. And then I can just donate the rest. I still have like two full bags. But they did take... A lot debating if I want a coffee or not thinking no because I haven't had a lot of water today and I'm pretty dehydrated so I'm just gonna go home and hopefully there's some dinner and probably just edit my little night away <laughs>